Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a candle review to share with you. And actually it's, really it is the same candle in my eye and nose. Um, but they have two different names from two different years. One of them's from 2013 and the other's from 2015. The 2013 one is Market Peach. And the one from 2015 is the Georgia Peach. So this is probably the oldest candle I have in my collection left. And as you can see, I don't have too much left of it. So, and this was the lid here from the 2013. I actually was able to keep that lid after the disaster. And um, that's just a regular lid for this one. Hi, you can see my outside. <laughs> anyway, um, so before I go any further, I am going to read for you the, actually the scent description for Georgia Peach, that's what I was able to, obviously it's what's out there in stores right now in a different label and different packaging, of course. So, Bath & Body Works describes Georgia Peach as, there's nothing sweeter than a blend of Georgia Peaches, dewy petals, and a hint of creamy vanilla. Dewy petals? Do I really need to say anything more? There's no dewy petals in this. To me, dewy petals would be like rain on like green. There's no green note into this. There's no dewiness about this. It is true peach with vanilla. Kind of like those Campino candies that are like the, the, or the like white and I guess the peach ones would have been peachy colored swirled candies. They're hard candies. The Campinos in Canada, I'm sure they're probably from the States as well. That's what these smell like. It's a perfectly balanced blend of creamy vanilla, like, um, yeah, just creamy vanilla and peaches, which is great. So um, I am here to report to you that by my nose, <laughs> these are identical. There's no difference um, at all. This one might be just a little bit stronger um, out of the two, uh, because, but keep in mind this is 2013, so this has had a bit of time to cure. And yeah, I mean, over time, I imagine the, the scent will probably dissipate. This one's a little bit newer, it's only a year old, so. I will say that much. But um, scent to peel on cold at the store. I love peaches. I love vanilla. I love anything like that. So it's a 10. It's something I purchase every year. I actually haven't purchased a Georgia peach from 2016 yet this year. There is some that I want, but they're only 50% off right now. And until they go down to 75% off, I will not buy them, even with a coupon, because I'm stubborn like that. Um, but I do love it. I still have backups of this Georgia peach labeled one here. I have backups in my collection. But, um, so scent appeal, like I said, is 10 on cold while burning. I'd say it's about a nine. And the reason being is it wasn't as strong a thrower as I expected. I only just posted my strawberry vanilla one uh, not long ago, and that one threw me out of the house. This one's more of a subtle, mild scent. Um, it didn't throw me right out of the house, but it was gorgeous beautiful you you knew it was there you didn't have to leave the room and come back it was there the entire time it's just i'd say the throw on this one's probably an eight and that's why i'll bounce it out by giving it a nine scent appeal overall while burning now uh as far as the burns themselves keep in mind again i always trim my wicks prior to my next burn and there's willow having herself a little bath anyway um so there are the trim the wicks there i do not trim them until the next burn you can see this wick right here kind of travel like they were normal <laughs> at one point this one has traveled in the last couple burns um so keeping an eye on it of course but otherwise there is little to no sitting at all at this point again once we get down towards the bottom it becomes a little more sooty generally um, the wax is changing color a little bit, a little bit dirty, but again, I really truly don't care about the color of wax, as I've said before, as long as it gives me the throw that I smell, it smells good and it smells true from top to bottom. That's what really matters to me. So that was the 2013 Market Peach. And then this one here is a 2015 white barn version of Georgia Peach. And the wicks are fine on this one. This one, they have not moved at all. Um, and again, there's really not much going on there with anything. So burn wise, I'm going to give it a nine because there's just a little bit of wax mark along the side, but really not much of anything to write home about. So you guys, that is my review of Georgia peach. If you love fruity scents, if you love the strawberry vanilla, like I said, I just uh, posted a review on that not long ago. You will love this. If you love fruity scents mixed with vanilla, 
Campino's straw like that strawberry one that I did is very similar to a Campino as well in the strawberry version. This is a peach version. I qu it's not as sugary sweet as the fuzzy peaches, which I love, especially when I watch movies. Love fuzzy peaches. Um, but uh, they're very nice. And, I, and again, I buy it every year. So that's saying something. So uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this. Two thumbs up, Georgia peach or market peach. But this is the one that you're going to find in the stores now, just in a different label. So you guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care, be safe, and have fun.